But then one of the main things that interests me in Forest Lawn was Michelangelo's, uh, the great sculpture, the, the monument of Moses. But this uh, masterpiece that Michelangelo had, had made, it, uh, it cost him something to do that. That he was a great man and it cost a big part of his life because he was many, many years and carving out, just take a rock and a, a marble and keep carving it and to see only the man, the sculpture himself has in his mind what he's trying to do. He's the one. You might walk up and say to him, what are you pecking on that rock for? To the outsider who doesn't know what's in his heart. Uh, it's nonsense. But the, the man, the sculpture himself, he, he's got a, a vision in his mind what he's trying to make. And he's trying to reproduce what he has on his mind in the form of a, of a monument. That's the reason he's digging it out of the rock. Now, for nearly 2,000 years, God has been again making him a masterpiece. And now that perfect masterpiece that he struck at Calvary, he got a piece off of him. Christ come the masterpiece to fulfill that. Now his bride will fulfill everything that's in the New Testament. Another masterpiece is in making as it taken him 4,000 years to make this masterpiece. Now he's been for nearly 2,000 years making another masterpiece, a bride for Christ, another masterpiece. And so doing it, he does it by his never-changing method, the same way he made the masterpiece. His word. That's the way he makes his masterpiece. Because it can only be a perfect masterpiece when it's a perfect word. Oh, how the word cuts. But it produces masterpieces. It takes all the husk and stalk away. It brings forth masterpieces.